it's you want to be able to think about your play not as something fixed but as something that you can vary on command right um because that's when that's when the game honestly gets a lot more fun and when you you'll feel a lot more control over your character and it's really cool because you can feel yourself going from uh something it's usually something that's not working to something that does right uh, there, it's it's neat actually. There's a couple different drills that I I used to do. I I could bring them back, I guess. Um, but I used to do in order to help me mix it up more. And it would be arbitrary stuff. It would be like for the first 15 seconds, I'm gonna go fucking wild and I'm gonna take a lot of risks, right? Whatever that means. In any situation that I'm in, I'm gonna do like the highest risk, highest reward option. And then on 15 seconds, I will, I'll stop and I'll play super uh, super conservative and super just patient and and. Uh, like try and react to stuff and try and and and, and uh, be fairly low risk overall, um, and then 15 seconds go by and it change it again, um, and then when you get better you can you can f flip the switch to every five seconds, every 10 seconds, and before you know it you're, or, or you can do it in in like interactions, right? Like you can be like, oh, from this neutral encounter up up through the first round of knockdown, I will be super conservative, and the next one I will be super. Uh, super risky and so on and so on but yeah if you think about these games as essentially uh contests they're like races to try and read the other person's mind as fast as possible like once you know that they know then you should be changing your shit up so that they what they think they know they don't actually know right and that's why i point to things like the the tell on you charging your on your on you charging your flash kick is like a really easy example of that right like once i when i see that we're standing in neutral at like mid screen and you're crouching there's only one thing that you're thinking about and you're waiting for it and that's why me doing the like the teleport that stays in place works right and you feel like an idiot while you're soaring up above because uh you just got baited by a bait teleport right it's because in those cir circumstances it becomes very easy to look and, and see what you're thinking, right? Past learning the game, past learning the move interactions, past learning all the like different properties that every character has and all, all the blah, 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 blah. This game, like these games, all these games, not just Guilty Gear, are about reading your opponent's mind, right? To varying le levels of confidence. Um, and so once you realize that, then you don't just try and read your opponent's mind faster. You also have to have to consciously manipulate the signals that you're giving off, right? That they're taking up, because then their reads become less useful.